What's up, Roman Empire? That's, you guys know the deal. A Rogue One feature that came out, you know, as part of Celebration. I was hoping it was the second trailer. I really wanted this trailer. And I've heard that the people at Celebration got it. So for them, congrats, man. You know, people who go to these things, they deserve to get something a little extra, a little taste, you know, for the sweaties of Star Wars. And, you know, if I can go to one, I would want that type of treatment too. But we still got something to see from World War One. So whatever it is to me, Star Wars, you guys know the deal. You know my history with this channel. I'm intrigued to see it and I wanted to see it with you guys. But let's get on to this, guys. Yep, definitely a war film. Looks all war-esque. Man, so funny how he looks like Poe Dameron's father. I'm not saying he is. It's like the fantasy you always have as a kid. Everywhere is an amazing shot, an amazing character. <laughs> looks like Emerald Akbar. It's about the humanity of it, which just makes the whole thing so real. Action! <laughs> Your heart's beating, and you're actually in this situation. You get something very genuine that you can apply. Like You'll actually compose shots that if we were on a green screen set, you just wouldn't have known were available. Pressure's so high. Like we're making a film that's right touching my favorite movie of all time. But then, if you're too respectful of it, that you dare do anything new or different, take a risk. And what are you bringing to the table? It looks so much like Donald Gleason. You gotta have that line in, in any of the films. May the force be with us. May the force be with you. You know. It's just, it's something that, you know, they're putting in this too, you know. Are, you, are they doing it sarcastically or, you know, you know, it's Star Wars. You gotta say that line. But it's good the way they, you know, ended it like that. But guys, it was a featurette. But it felt sort of like a trailer, you know. It's just like that one that we had with The Force Awakens last year at Comic-Con. Uh, you know, show a little bit, but this time, you know, they almost like nostalgic. This one, we're showing how the film is being made, and yes, it's incredible. It just, I, I like how you know the directors in it and all, and they're capturing that war vibe that they were, you know, promising to all of us. Freaking, yeah, the reshoots were something to not worry about. You know, every movie has this. You know, they got it in control, I believe. Right here, what they're showing us, which is not even a trailer. I'm sold. I like how it's looking. You know, we're getting a little bit more of how, you know, the end of that one trailer there, like at the beach scene, it shows it might be, you know, very pitiful scene or it could be the climax. Who knows? But, you know, something's going to go down there. And, you know, people want to expand the universe with Star Wars. I am glad we're just expanding in these films like, you know, things we haven't seen before or seen something put in different locations, you know. That type of expansion is what we need also in Star Wars that people don't say a lot. And I'm glad we're getting that. You know, we're getting these new troopers. It's fine. They'll somehow make it work how, you know, these troopers are here, but they weren't in A New Hope. It will all make sense, you know. This universe, 
when it's all said and done, we'll be cohesive and, you know, we got to trust them. You know, this is a new era now with Disney and Lucasfilm and they, you know, whether you agree or disagree, The Force Awakens was a success. For me, it was, in my opinion. And I just love what I'm seeing, you know, from Felicity Jones, from Diego Luna, everybody. There's just some shots. I'm like, oh, wow, that is, you know, impressive. I love how they're capturing it. And man, it just feels Star Wars. It feels like that era of, of a new hope. Just also now set in this time we live in. It's a war film that's good. Do what Marvel does. Make the episodes like the Avengers type of Lucasfilm. And then let's have these separate stories that have different themes. It's fine. Guys, take your time. I know you guys are going to give us a good product. And that is my, you know, reaction to just this Rogue One featurette, guys. Let me know in the comments if you guys loved it or hate it. You know, you want the trailer. I want the trailer too. Let's be patient, guys. Come on. You know, what what have they taught us in Star Wars? Come on, patience, you know. And as always, roll an empire, laugh, smile, repeat.